SSRF stands for server-side request forgery. This is one of the most common vulnerabilities in the web security space. The essence behind such a vulnerability is to get the server to unwittingly make requests to resources inside a network. In server-side request forgery attacks, the attacker tricks the server into making requests that it wouldn't normally have access to. This can lead to various security risks and the potential exploitation of sensitive information. In some cases, successful server-side request forgery attacks can lead to more severe consequences, such as executing arbitrary code on the server, which can be highly damaging. This is called remote code execution. There are different attack vectors to execute a successful server-side request forgery. An attack vector is basically a path, method, or way for a malicious hacker to get into a system. Common attack vectors can be social engineering tricks or vulnerability exploits, just like the one we are talking about today. Think of it this way. A common server-side request forgery attack involves the attacker causing the server to connect to either internal or external services. If the connection happens internally, some of these services can be vulnerable applications that have access to back-end systems. For external third-party systems, this can cause malicious attacks from unverified sources. SSRF attacks can be executed either against the server itself or against other back-end systems. Against server attacks, the malicious hacker gets the application to make an HTTP request straight to the server that is hosting the vulnerable application. This can happen via a malicious URL, but the back-end systems, the application on the server can connect to systems that are not reachable by users. These systems can have special functionality that works without the need for authentication by anyone. This video should give you a basic understanding of the server-side request forgery vulnerability. Remember to enable multi-factor authentication. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.